Hello, my name is David Malin, and I'm the instructor for Computer Science E1, Understanding Computers and the Internet at Harvard University's Extension School. You're watching one of our videos of the week. For more such videos or information about this course, visit us on the web at computerscience1.org. Enjoy the show. Hello, I'm Dan Armendaris, a TF for Computer Science E1. And in this video, we're going to talk about plugging everything in and turning on your computer. In fact, you might already have a computer, and that's probably how you're watching us right now. But let's just take a minute, and uh, while you may want to wait to turn it off, go ahead and try at some point turning off your machine and unplugging everything. And as you can see, this is not a task for the you know, this is not a task for the faint of heart. You have a mass of cables under your desk or around your neck or something, and your cat might trip on them, your kids might trip on them. It's really hard uh, to tell. And I mean, whenever you trip on a cable, it tends to get unplugged, and this might be difficult because, well, where, does, where do these cables go? You have a whole bunch of plugs in the back of your computer, and it's just it may not be clear at first. So let's take a look. We actually have a power cable here, but for safety's reason, let's uh, put it away for now, and we'll do that one last. So one of the first things that you may notice about the back of your machine here is that everything is very nicely color-coded. There are many different shapes and sizes of ports, and uh, every, every different color means that it's a very different plug. So let's start with our keyboard. It seems like a pretty important thing to plug in. We follow the cable along. We get this nice purple connector, and I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's a little icon that has the shape of a keyboard on it. Now we can look on here and we can see that there's only one place that really matches the color. It also matches the shape, so we might as well just plug that in. That was pretty painless. That's where your keyboard goes. Next thing, we have our mouse. Now this is a USB mouse, so it has, oh, and this is why it's bad to tangle your cords. So here we have our USB mouse. It has a fairly rectangular connection, and it, from the back of the computer, you can see that there's the color black right here that have the same rectangular connections. Now, you may notice that there's actually two places where this can go. Since th it's the same color, it really doesn't matter which one you plug it into. You can plug it into the bottom one here, or you can plug it into the one on top. Either way, it doesn't matter. It will work in either one. That's not necessarily true, however, for the the, the keyboard uh, color code because you can see that there's another one that's the color green. If we plug it in there, there's no guarantee. So I really recommend, even if things can plug into different places, that you plug them into uh, the correct one, first by color and then by shape. Next, we have our monitor. So in order to see what's going on in your computer, you'll have to plug this in. And as you can see, it's a blue port uh, or a blue connector, rather, and there's only one place that it will go. So continuing, we will just plug that in. Now you may notice that there's a few others that we're not using here. There's a longer one um, with, the, with a purple color. This is a parallel port. This actually is, is somewhat older. This is a fairly old machine, and you may not have this on some of the newer machines, uh, but this was for uh, some older printers and also some fairly old scanners as well. If you don't, you don't have to use all the ports on the back of your computer, so if you have some free, then that's perfectly okay. Next are our speakers. I like to listen to my music, so I'll go ahead and try matching the color here. Now you can see that even though I matched the green with the green for this particular um, connector, we also have two others that it could fit into. Uh, there's a blue one and a pink one. But I'm not sure you can see it, but there is actually a small icon here uh, in the shape of a microphone. And so if I plug the speakers into the microphone, well, I, I don't expect it to work. The blue one is for line in, perhaps for your CD player or your MP3 player. So we're, we won't plug it into either one of those. We'll first match the color and plug it into there. And now we're left with this one. Uh, this is actually, it looks like a, a wide telephone cable. It's actually our ethernet. Depending on your particular setup at home, you may or, you may, or may not have this uh, for internet connection. You may have a wireless setup, for example. Um, but you'll notice that it's not really color-coded like the rest of them. And that's because we have that as an expansion card here. 
it's not part of the main, the main set of ports here. And we have four slots um, to add additional uh, capabilities to this computer. Uh, one of them happens to be an Ethernet, an Ethernet card. One of the slots is actually free, and I can show you that we actually have a uh, video card, which hopefully will be able to increase the, the video capabilities of this machine, uh, possibly for gaming, for example. And uh, we're, we might install this later in another one of our videos. And uh, so last but not least, of course, we have our power cable. And really, it goes in, into only one spot, uh, so you might as well just go ahead and try plugging it in. But these are the ports on in your computer, and now that we have everything plugged in, you can go ahead and just try turning it back on. And hopefully, if you did everything right, it won't get mad at you, and you will be all set. Uh, this has been a Computer Science E1 production. I'm Dan Armendaris. Thank you very much for watching. Join us next time. Did I start with my name last time or with, I don't even remember. Okay. Okay. Hello, I'm Dan Armendaris, TF for Computer Science. Ah, let me start over. All right, this is it. Final take. I know. <laughs> Hello, I'm Dan Armendaris, a TF for Computer Science E1. Here, in this video, we're going to talk about something. <laughs>